fans, Mullen announces partnership with Amerit Fleet Solutions. Amerit will provide service and warranty needs for Mullen's portfolio of commercial vehicles, which includes the Mullen One, Three, and Campus EV van. To achieve this, Amerit will receive training from Mullen's commercial product team and vehicle technicians at its facilities in Tunica, Mississippi, and Troy, Michigan. Amerit boasts over 1,800 vehicle service technicians across the country. The company characterizes itself as the nationwide leader in supporting electric fleet vehicles. David Mishri of Mullen says, every strategic initiative has been put in place to ensure viability of our class one and class three from sales, service, warranty, and overall vehicle support. Amerit is a well-established national provider of fleet service and warranty work. What is interesting about this is that some, if not most of the EV startups are following some of the same uh, strategies as far as going into production or enhancing production. Just a month ago, Lordstown Motors also partnered with Amerit Fleet Solutions, and they happen to already be in production in fact, Lordster Motors began commercial production of Endurance pickup truck back in 2022, September 29th. While it has not begun production of its class three trucks, yet it is expected to be in July of 2023. But however, just like Lordstown Motors, they also partnered with Ameri Fleet Solutions and also CEO David Mishri did say that every strategic initiative has been put in place to ensure the viability of our class one and class three vehicles. So although Mullen has not yet produced vehicles, but they're going to soon, they already are ahead of the game as far as having factories, uh, just partnered with Ameri Solutions, Loop global charging infrastructure, they also did pilot programs, Large aviation Loop. service known as Menzies Aviation LAX, also have Bollinger Motors, Fire. key executives from General Motors, and they already have class one, class three vehicle purchase orders ready to go for when Mullen starts to produce these vehicles. They've already actually delivered some of the Elms vans to various customers. So Mullen seems to be ahead of the game in different areas but just not ahead of the game as far as cash inflow. And that's a, that's a problem within a lot of EV startups in the sector, which has caused more dilution in Mullen Automotive Company until Mullen gets some sort of funding or revenue started. But like I also mentioned, Mullen did ultimately sign into toxic financing deal that allow these toxic financiers such as Aquitas and Asusa Holdings to convert these issue preferred shares into common stock and sell them into the open market, diluting the share price. And that has been ultimately setting the stage for short sellers to do illegal activities on the stock, which is where Mullen's main downfall is. But ultimately the CEO has not been making it any easier. A lot of his moves that he's been making for the company has been questionable. And contributing to the negative sentiment that is on the company currently. But I do feel as though David Mishri does want to make this company great in the long run, despite all his past company fails. I feel he has done a lot of great things with Mullen Automotive Company, and there's a reason behind that. Companies will be working together for providing service and maintenance to fleet customers. Commercial fleet, light duty, electric vehicles, original equipment manufacturer, Lordstown Motors Corporation has signed an agreement with customized fleet maintenance and repair program provider Amerit Fleet Solutions. They will be working together as Amerit provides service and maintenance to the commercial fleet customers of Lordstown. The companies will be jointly providing service to Lordstown customers for current and future EV. Lordstown Endurance first started commercial production of electric vehicles at the Foxconn EV Ohio assembly plant last year in the third quarter. Sales began the following quarter. Production and deliveries started up again last month following a halt at the start of 2023 to address issues with quality among suppliers. The production resumption is expected to continue, though its pace will be slow. Under the agreement between Lordstown and Amerit, the companies will both provide EV service and warranty for the Lordstown Endurance in key states legally permitted, in addition to the vehicles Lordstown develops in the future as a part of its Foxconn EV ecosystem collaboration. 
Amerit is already beginning its plans for the electric vehicle service location strategic rollout. The rollout will align with the launch plan Lordstown has in place for its first fleet customers. Before Amerit services launch, its technicians will be required to complete an extensive safety training program in addition to the training curriculum from Lordstown for its endurance and other future EVs. Amerit is a perfect fit with Lordstown because it is a well-established service provider to the fleet and commercial industry with experience in the service and maintenance of EVs, said Lordstown Motors Corporation CEO and President Edward Hightower. Our vehicles and connectivity features, combined with Amerit's mobile service network and innovative maintenance solutions, provide Lordstown with the ability to offer a comprehensive and customized EV experience for our fleet customers. Lordstown is an innovative EV company serving the commercial fleet market, and we look forward to supporting their customers by offering service programs across the U.S., said CEO of Amerit Dan Williams in a news release about the electric vehicles agreement. With over 1,800 trained and certified technicians across the country, our customized approach to service programs and our expertise in providing EV maintenance solutions, we believe that Amerit is ideally suited to rapidly scale services to Lordstown's endurance customers and vehicle programs in the future. Go.